Hello, welcome to VNews Broadcast Daily and following are today's top stories. The finance ministry of Vietnam and Laos discuss ways to step up cooperation. Vietnam and the Republic of Korea share experience in nuclear security. Vietnam's trade deficit stands up 9.5 billion US dollar in 2011, the lowest in the past decade. Export of aquatic products fetches 6 billion US dollar this year. The eighth meeting of the steering committee for cooperation between the finance ministries of Vietnam and Laos took place in the capital city of Hanoi on December 27. At the meeting, leaders of the two ministries informed each other about the economic and financial situation in their respective country, as well as the achievements in financial management reforms in 2011. They discussed and reached consensus on cooperation orientations for 2012 based on the request of the Lao Finance Ministry and capacity of its Vietnamese counterpart. In 2012, the two ministries will focus on improving training capacity for Laos finance institutes and assisting Laos in building laws and legal documents. To prepare for the second nuclear security summit in Seoul, the Korean Embassy in Vietnam and the Ministry of Science and Technology jointly held a forum in Hanoi on December 27th to share experience in issues related to the summit. At the forum, Korean representatives informed that the country is actively making preparations to ensure the success of the summit. Leaders of 50 countries and four international organizations, namely the United Nations, the European Union, the International Atomic Energy Agency, and the International Criminal Police Organization, are expected to attend the event. Delegates, including those from Vietnam, we discuss matters regarding nuclear terrorist attacks and how to ensure nuclear security and safety. The first nuclear security summit took place in Washington in April 2010, during which member nations committed to continue ensuring nuclear security by enforcing international conventions and treaties in this field. A delegation of the Hanoi Women's Union, led by its president, Nguyen Minh Ha, is on a working visit to Laos on December 26. The delegation was received by Secretary of the Party Committee and Mayor of Vientiane, Sokeng Mahala. Sokeng Mahala praised the cooperation between the two women's unions, which contributed to the enhancement of cooperative relations between the two capital cities. The guests briefed the host of the results of their visits from December 23 to 28, as well as orientations for cooperation between the women's unions of Hanoi and Vientiane. Accordingly, the two unions agreed to further the exchange of operational experience, especially in gender equality and protection of the rights of women and children in the coming years. They also pledged to create favorable conditions for female entrepreneurs of the two cities to exchange experience. The Fourth National Congress of the Vietnam Young Entrepreneurs Association closed in Hanoi on December 27th. After two days of sitting, Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phuc attended and delivered a speech at the closing ceremony. The Congress elected 99 members to the Central Committee of the Vietnam Young Entrepreneurs Association for the 2011-2014 tenure. Addressing the event, Deputy Prime Minister Nguyen Xuân Phuc affirmed that developing a strong condition of entrepreneurs is the responsibility of the party, political system, business people and enterprises. The Deputy PM called on young entrepreneurs to make greater efforts, show a sense of responsibility to society and community, strictly observe the state laws, and build up business culture. Within the framework of the Congress, on December 26, the Association presented Red Star Awards to 10 outstanding young entrepreneurs in recognition of their excellent performances and contributions to national socioeconomic development. Over the past year, their businesses contributed 18 billion Vietnam to state budget, 
donated more than 60 billion Việt Nam to social activities and generated jobs for 10,600 workers. Vietnam's trade deficit was kept at 9.5 billion U.S. dollars in 2011, equivalent to 10.4 percent of the total export turnover. This was the lowest level in the past 10 years. Exports were valued at 96 billion U.S. dollars this year, a year-on-year -year increase of 33 percent, the highest since 1995, and tripling the targets of 10 percent set by the National Assembly. Of the total 27 export commodities, textiles and garments recorded the highest value with 14.28 billion US dollar. It even surpassed the export value of crude oil, which fetched nearly 7.24 billion US dollar this year. As many as 19 commodities had export turnovers of more than 1 billion US dollar, including seafood products. Footwear, electronics, computers, spare parts, and machinery equipment devices, rice, coffee, and cassava products. Vietnam earned six billion U.S. dollars from aquatic product exports in 2011, up to 20% from the previous year, and surpassing the set target of 5.7 billion U.S. dollars. The Vietnam Association of Seafood Exporters and Producers said. In 2011, the country total seafood output reached 5.2 million tons, up 1.4% over last year. Of the total output, 2.2 million tons came from netting and 3 million tons were sourced from aquaculture. During the year, Vietnam also increased its aquaculture areas by 2.5% to 1,093 hectares. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development has set the targets of earning 6.5 billion US dollars from aquatic product exports in 2012, a 5% from this year. Vietnam Maritime Search and Rescue Coordination Center reported that Vinalized Queen ship was still missing as of 9 a.m. on December 27, after more than 48 hours of disconnection and despite international joint search and rescue efforts. According to the center, at 7 a.m. local time on December 25th, the Vietnamese national flagship reported to the center that it had an 18-degree incline and lost contact with Vinalize company afterwards. The ships were on its way from Morowali port of Indonesia to Ningde port of China, carrying 54,400 tons of nickel minerals and having 23 sailors on board. Right after disconnecting with the ship, the center called for help from the Philippines Rescue Forces to launch search and rescue by helicopters, but due to bad weather, they could not find any signs of the missing ship. Meanwhile, rescue forces from Taiwan and the Coast Guard from Japan and Hong Kong also joined hands in searching the ship at radar location where the Vina Light Queen ship was reported missing, but so far, there's not any positive news. And this is the end of the news today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.